Yeah. Wake up. <laughs> uh. Hello, Moggy. Hello, Mr. Mogul. What you want, little guy? What do you want? No, no. You do not bite tables. No. Stop it. Oh, I gotta get rid of this. Hold on. Number 053. No. Let go. Bad Great kitty. It's <laughs> freaking biting my USB cable. Bad kitty. I have a bad kitty right now. You do not bite cables, sir. Okay? <laughs> uh. The right screen? Oh yeah, that was the one that says you wouldn't download a car, would you? And it says, fuck you, I would if I could. Would you like some treats, you little scamp? You don't deserve any for being bad. You don't deserve any for being bad. Hold on, let me get this loaded up. Really quick. He uses annoyed tail. <laughs> he is doing that, isn't he? Mog, you gonna play video games with us? All right. Let's keep it up. <laughs> you want these? <laughs> yeah, you do. He wants treats. There you go. Yeah. Oh, you dropped it. Well, he dropped it. <laughs> the treats are up here. Uh, he's going to have to come back up here. Mog wants a beer. Oh, man. That's not a good thing. Come here. Did you finish? You want more? Come on. You got to get him up here. Come on. You want treats? Come on. Come here. You gotta jump. Come on, buddy. You want that? You want your treat? Come here. Come here. I'm trying to get him to jump back up. He's confused now. He screwed everything up by jumping down. Come here. You want treats? My goodness. Your cats don't care about cords with the exceptions of headphones. I guess he doesn't want it. All right. Well, I'll give him some more later. What a weird cat. He may be back later. Who knows? Yo, Diablo, thanks for the host. We were running around in this cave most of the night last night, getting very lost and missing treasure. I want to get treasure. I think he wanted a treat. I just, I don't know. He wouldn't jump up, so. It's a little weird. <clears throat> Woo! Nah, nah. So this is Thousand Arms. We're in a dungeon. 
I don't remember why, because dude who was dying told us to go here, basically. That's basically why. He's like, you have to go here. He never actually said why we have to go here. So we're here. We just don't understand why we're here. And then he died. She's taunting the enemy. Lowers offense. Oh, you missed. Okay, good. Can I explain the Digimon? I mean, that thing looks like a Pokemon, doesn't it? Like a Kingler Aegislash. <clears throat> She's got bony legs. I mean, some people are skinny, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's anime. She's a little wayfish, I suppose. There's a lot of treasure we didn't get, and I kind of want to get it. I kind of want to get it. We like treasure. Yeah, some people said that looks like a Digimon. I think the explanation given was take an animal and give it machine parts. You know, that was basically what everyone was telling me. An animal with machine parts. And then you have a Digimon. And then like the last evolution is like some dude with long hair, which that's really confusing. That part's really confusing to me. Like, wait a minute, it was a crab with a sword on its head. Why is it a dude with long hair now? I don't get it. <laughs> to be fair, they both have very bony legs. Thanks to it, drowned underscore wolf for my sub gift. What are you still doing up? <laughs> Crystal. <laughs> How's it going? The clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. It does, yeah. It's true. The, the badunka dunk is alerting the guards. <laughs> you gotta work a little late tonight. As long as you are staying healthy. I know we were talking about that a little bit. The your concerns for having too much work on your schedule it makes me concerned. I'm worrying about you, Chris. It's going well. It's going well. It's good to see you. Thank you for hitting that button. Drown Wolf giving you the gift sub. Very cool. <laughs> Work-life balance. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get it. You've been working on uh, commissions. A lot of new commissions. This game has no right to sound or look so good. It does, doesn't it? Like it's got good music, audio and art direction. And it's a dating sim where women ask you if you would fart in front of them. Whew. It's marches to the beat of its own drummer. <laughs> oh, this game is something else. Freelance illustration for a large RP. Ooh, when you're able to talk about it, it'd be cool to know what you're working on. I know you're probably under an NDA or something like that. Let her rip like the 4th of July. I think we updated your command crystal to have the right website now. I'm not sure though. <laughs> I think that's the right one. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. The answer to that should always be no. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like you don't like 
the first date and she asks if you'll fart in front of her and oh like we're not that far yet lady all right i don't know what your deal is but <laughs> like come on now this is the right one okay cool yeah it's hard to see right now but i have a lot of crystal art behind me it's covered in lights but like all of this is her that and that and that and that and that, and that. this is not this one's not this is the only one that isn't crystals art <laughs> <clears throat> the fart question sounded more like a request than a question yeah it did yeah it really did <clears throat> and it just came out of nowhere the game is wild oh i should probably heal well at least she's cheering Ow. Ow, quit it. Okay, I won. Very festive. Yeah. I wanted to put something there this year. Put colors. Shiny colors. I went, I went shiny colors. I like the shiny colors. The only thing I noticed is that the LEDs pulse at a 60 hertz um, frequency. So on the camera, if you look really close, they kind of look like they're flickering. Oh, well. And then I put the tinsel on my, my mic. Seemed like a good spot for it. over here i didn't go this way yet i like the scampering noises <clears throat> yeah we're playing thousand arms if you don't know this game folks it's a ps1 jrpg dating sim <laughs> it's really weird this is a weird weird game <sighs> <laughs> This is just the best thing I could say. Oh man. Great art direction. Pretty good music. The dungeons are kind of boring so far. The combat is a little lackluster. The dates are absolute comedy. It's a dating sim. Yeah. Legitimately. It's really weird. Heal me up. Mm -hmm. Oh man. The one shot though. That was nice. I've been letting chat pick some of the answers to the questions in the dating sim. That's been fun. Treasure! I think I already got it. Dead end. Darn. Okay. <laughs> Dangerous like always pick B every time. Okay. <laughs> B has often been the most offensive answer. Me, 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 me. All right. Heal me up. Uh, oh shit. That's the first time we got hit by an AOE like that. That guy got lost on his way to Mega Man. That's what it looks like. Legitimately. Damn. He crits and he didn't even kill. Do you guys like my, uh, question for the night what's going on oh he's doing aoe again wow okay we really pissed this guy off she's gonna have to heal herself at this point do, 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 do. all right finally killed that thing jeez they have too many hit points
Has anyone seen or played this game? Dragon Quest has slimes. That's pretty nice. Yeah. You can use them to do poof poofs. You know? So if you don't want to... <laughs> you don't want to motorboat someone, you can use slimes. Because that's what that is in those games. <laughs> they call it poof poof, but it's really just motorboating. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a thing that they do. You saw Spawn play some of it? Dane, you have. You're fairly confident you didn't beat it because you don't remember the ending. Fair enough. You saw it last night. True. You did, yeah. True story. Yeah, in DQ games, in 8 especially, if you get a poof 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 from this bunny girl with a, a seductive French accent, she put, makes you put on a blindfold and gives you a poof poof. But you find out she's just holding two slimes. She's not actually doing it. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. <laughs> Uh, it is shadows yes weird dating sim rpg is right <coughs> oh shit <laughs> whoa um okay that did not go to plan Cool. All right. Can we revive him? God, I hope so. I don't know what to do in this scenario. He has one hit point, so it looks like it's an auto revive. Now the crab can date Sadina. Oh my God. He needs his Snickers. He needs a lot more than that. All right, cool. So after combat, they're fine. Jeez. She's now the hero. Maybe what if she always was? You actually do prefer DQ over Final Fantasy. Boop, 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 boop. Final Fantasy has inconsistent quality. DQ at worst is like a six of 10 for you. Usually like an eight or nine. I see. What's over here? Better lead the treasure, dang it. I feel like I should go save. Being highly subjective, of course, of course. <clears throat> You've yet to play a DQ game. I'd say of all the DQs, two is probably the worst. I like them all, but dang, two is... pretty fucked up mainly because they ran out of development time and not a single developer on that team ever tested the end of the game so it is hilariously unbalanced <laughs> uh. all right i can hit those guys kill those guys in two hits you want a dq7 to be too longer I felt like DQ7 overstayed its welcome. I liked it a lot, but it was too long. Like, it could have been that long. I think the problem was it was repetitive. Like, DQ11 is longer than 7, but it's not repetitive. 7 is repetitive. Still like it a lot. You only got done DQ4 on DS. That was pretty neat. That one's pretty good, yeah. <clears throat> I 
Dun, 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 dun. Are any of them on Switch Online? Yes, and you should never play them. The or not Switch Online. They're um they're on the the eShop. Switch Online? No, I don't think so. The ones in the eShops are the mobile ports. They're really bad. Like super bad. Doom doom. Is this game more fun than Ephemeral Fantasia? I mean, literally every game is more fun than Ephemeral Fantasia. So that's like a trick question. Because that's effectively one of the worst games ever made. So yes, this game is more fun than Ephemeral Fantasia. <laughs> do, do, do. Keep it up. Oh, thank you. Weird rotating ball ghost thing. Oh, found a forge. That is really good timing. <clears throat> we could use the upgrades. All right. Wow. That, yeah, that's significant power boosts. Was it the shape of the girl? I it just looked like a sphere with arms, as far as I could tell. Forge another weapon. Yes. Dun 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 dun. Added spell geo. Okay. I think I maybe do I have to equip these spells? I don't really understand how it works. No. Why are they gray? Oh, you can cast them. Oh, because you can cast them out of combat. Okay. Beep. So what about her? They're games that don't work right. They're games with bad stories. They're games that give bad direction, have bad combat. And then Ephemeral Fantasia comes along and goes, yes, all of that. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's... I... My main argument against Ephemeral Fantasia is this. The only possible way... logically possible way to get a zero on a test that's multiple choice is that you know the answer to every question and you deliberately answer them wrong and that's what ephemeral fantasia is it's like they had some really good developer who knew how to do everything to make a good game and they did the opposite of that in every facet of that game <laughs> and i don't think that's hyperbole at all like, I don't think that that, like, conspiracy happened, but I, like, that's what the, that's how bad that game is, that it feels like that. Every, every facet of that game is done poorly. <laughs> do, do. All right, does she have all these spells now? She does, okay. I don't know if she can use them though. I can't tell if you're joking or not, LTG. I just never can. Oh, this room is a lot larger than I thought it was. Wow, okay. What is this? Maybe this is where I needed to go. Came here when I was little. I could have sworn there was a flame. Jamal was doing something with the hammer. Yeah, the music in this is pretty good. 
And as far as PS1 goes, the voice acting isn't bad. The voice direction is bad, though. It feels like they just gave the voice actors like a list of lines to read with little to no context about what they are. So they feel out of place sometimes. <clears throat> Production quality on this game is incredible. It's the game part that's rough. Right. As far as the actual game goes in this, it's not been the most exciting. But there is a lot to like about this. Yeah, Dollar Store Sephiroth was the name of the villain in Ephemeral Fantasia. Yeah. It looks like a diorama of a solar system or something. Elemental spirits are curious about the kinds of swords I forge. Serena, come with me! Oh, okay. The review on Wikipedia? Don't be fooled by the cute characters in the box, promising console RPG goodness. You'll find none of that here. Keep moving. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> uh... Oh, cool. What's this? What's up, Diamond Dragon? The holy flame of this sacred torch is the power of light. The only power that can battle the darkness. What is with this guy's voice? <laughs> the holy flame draws power from the mind. The darkness draws from hatred. The light draws from higher love. Higher love. Yeah. The flame instills power to the sword. Yes, it did the sound like the. One <laughs> the power of the holy flame and can use the elemental. Uh, what were those guys called? Oh, the, the ones with the armor, right? In Starcraft? The fuck were those guys called? <laughs> he does sound like that guy. Yeah, the zealots. Yeah, <laughs> the fucking zealots. <laughs> oh, amazing. Sacred altars lie in various places. Use the holy flame to forge swords. I'll light your hammer with the holy flame. Use the sword forged with the power of spirit to protect the holy flame from the evil. The only StarCraft I ever played was on the Nintendo 64. <laughs> uh. Aquoon, the elemental beast of the water. Okay. I just got headbutt by a water beast. You can feel the power. The worst version of StarCraft. I mean, probably. It was the only one I ever played. And it was like a rental. Like, my friend rented it and brought it over because he couldn't understand it. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll help you try to figure it out. Sploosh. Hold out, Monteblanc. We got you. All right. Sploosh. There you go. 
kaboom! <laughs> uh. Da, da. Da. It was rough on 64, but tactics games and console at time period is like very limited. Oh yeah, absolutely. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to defend the game. I'm just trying to tell you that it was the only one I played. <laughs> Ogre Battle 64 was fun. I gotta play that someday because I really loved the original Ogre Battle on Super Nintendo. You like comparing DQ and Final Fantasy? DQ tends to feel a lot more comfy just being itself. Final Fantasy constantly gets obsessed with reinventing and changing things that really didn't need it. <clears throat> you could play co-op StarCraft on the Nintendo 64. Nice. Oh, it had split screen. Okay. I don't remember that. To impart the power of the elemental spirits, you need the love of a girl who's of pure heart and soul. Let's forge the sword together. I know it sounds embarrassing, but I'd like to be of help to you. Oh, okay. Sure. You have no weapon to be fortified. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess we're not doing that. Would you like to go to the sacred smithy? Yes. We were being followed. Information on the sacred altar is being sent. I guess we fighting. I guess we fighting. Doo -doo. Dark gear man. Look at my sword. It changed colors. Sweet. Reduces physical damage. I want that. She can only do heal. That's so weird. She has a bunch of other spells. Dang it. Okay. Maybe she can only do her extra attacks when she's in the front. Oh, he got stunned and lost his turn. She taunted the enemy and lowered his offense. Good. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, shiny new summon. I have a summon? Oh, I do. I didn't even realize that's what that was. <laughs> okay. Wow. This is a lot more impressive than I expected for the summon. Splish. <laughs> 47. All right. Not bad. Uh, can you just keep doing? No. Okay. There's like a cooldown or something. It's open to some ridiculousness due to a 1v1 format. Loosh. Yay, she cheered and I got hit points and then I just lost it. Oh, mitigation, right? Is that the dude who headbutted me earlier? Um, I don't know. Well, I'm not sure. What's up, Big Philly style? What game is this? Thousand Arms on the PlayStation 1. It's. <laughs> it's memes, is the real answer. This game is memes. It's a dating sim JRPG. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, it's been really goofy. It's one of the games ever made. Yeah. Yeah. This weird one. Yeah. Yeah. We were playing it yesterday too. Yeah. You want a loaded Philly? Yeah, sometimes I call them Philly cheesesteak. So, you know. Ancient master said there are sacred altars all over the world. Let's go through Fort Teve and go to Hatoba and Sea Rock. That should lead us to the next altar. Okay. You got it. Oh, sick. It took us to the entrance of the cave. We didn't have to run through it the whole time. Oh, I love when games do that. Quality of life. Quality of life. Such a considerate feature. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Um, is this by the Sakura Tyson peeps? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Computer build is done. Hell yes. Gonna get it booted up tomorrow. I'm assuming you have an OS to install on it, right? I I would buy. I always bought mine from a specific reddit account you can get get them for like 40 bucks so i got both keys of win windows 10 64 bit pro for 40 each just pretty nice that is an angry looking bird i'm gonna heal just in case okay not bad six okay we're fine. Windows 10 USB, right on. Sounds like you're all good to go there. Dang it. Stop missing. All right, those guys were easy. It pulled a limit break. Yeah, it was something like that, wasn't it? Wait, what? Last time you used what, Phil? I don't think USB sticks existed in 1998. <laughs> did they? <laughs> uh, maybe they did. I might have misread that. Are right, we gonna go to our burnt downtown? Dun, 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 dun. Aren't those Sakura Wars games like banned on Twitch, or am I thinking of something else? I might be thinking of something else. Those guys are easy. Did it. Hey, what's up, Maxim? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> uh, last time he used the PC in general. Oh, wow. Wow, you are deeply ingrained in that Apple ecosystem. I am sorry. I hope you're able to pull yourself out of that. Brand loyalty is never a good thing. If if somehow, someday, like the next, like if the the ecosystem for you know Apple became the best for streaming and gaming, I would switch to it in a heartbeat. I don't care, but that's I mean I don't think that's ever gonna happen. But you know, it's one of those things. Mostly because. 
Apple is predatory as fuck with how they price things. Poor guy. Their home village burnt down. USB came out in 96, so it would be rare for a computer to have them on board. Interesting. Soccer Wars are strategy RPGs with dating some elements. Soccer Wars itself is not banned, but there are other soccer games that are. Oh, okay. So it's like a whole franchise that has different game types. That's interesting. Save game. Da, da, da. Sorry to hear about your art. What does that mean? Do, 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 do. Yo, Bellamis. Wow, thank you. Three gift subs. What's up, Thor? How are you? Got home and sat down. Cats instantly jumped on chest. Nice. Thank you, Villamus. That's very kind of you. Right back at you. Right back at you. Those folks are going to get some of the best emotes on Twitch and the ad-free experience. Which it looks like the ads are going to be swinging here in a couple minutes. should probably stay at the end unless it'll let me sleep in the uh what do you call it the forge man this place is just cleared out dun, 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 dun. Well, it looks like the the basic amenities are all still open here. Still can't go that way. Can't go that way. That spinning camera, I bet, could be nauseating for people playing this game. Because you don't have any control over it. It just does that. Can't go in there. Okay. Oh, this place got jacked up. Okay. We can't go in any of these places. Should probably stay at the end then and make our trip to the next town. You got a tentative offer to move back to hometown and run a new store for your old business. Could be lucrative and much better for your work-life balance. Of which you have none, right? Check in. Two, oh, 20. Okay, I thought it said 200. I was about to be really mad. <laughs> like 200? Half the building's burnt down. Nice. It's time to wake up. That was different. Doo, 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 doo. How does it compare to what you're doing now, Thor? Doo, 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 doo. What is, what is going on with art theft? I'm I'm not I'm out of the loop here. What are we talking about right now? <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to go west. I think that's where the fort is. 
I hope. Yeah, there it is. All right, cool. Stolen and minted as NFT. Jeez. Does DMCA work on that stuff? I don't really understand what NFTs are. I've just kind of avoided them. Non-flushable turds. <laughs> oh no. Time to go sorth by Nowthweast. Oh man. That's what I was doing wrong all this time. Back in Florida, which, I mean, Florida sucks, but so does the state you're in right now. So it's like kind of like a weigh your options thing, right, Thor? NFTs are a fancy way of stealing people's art. Yeah, so it seems. I know I've seen stories of people who and you know, this is just a bunch of bullshit, like hearsay, so I don't know if it's true, but they said that like people have like put art that didn't belong to them as NFT and like, or bought art that didn't, that was stolen, like an NFT that was like stolen. And then it like got stripped or whatever from whatever the distribution platform is because of a takedown. I don't really know how that works. Like I said, I haven't really looked into them. Should be a good way of tracking people stealing art. That'd be interesting. I'll go with you guys. My strength is out of a hundred bed. Okay. Ooh. We're gonna kiss his ass and maybe he'll come with us. Florida's better than Alabama all day. No income tax, lower sales tax, cheaper insurance. What about how many, uh, the amount of people that put on their fucking masks? <laughs> uh, they've been ignoring DMCA's. Oh boy. That's, that's a problem. <laughs> they could lose all form of safe harbor there and open themselves up to class action lawsuits. Let's head to the Sankran Altar. He's frozen again. So we have a new teammate, Musa. Attribute Wind. Okay. Doesn't have any spells. He has Twister Blade. And a Claymore. Okay. I don't know... If he's better than Sodina in the back row, right? Mm -hmm. You want some crystal stuff? Here. If anyone wants crystal art, you go there to that web page. You can buy buy art from the lady herself instead of shit lords who steal it and put it on non-flushable turds or whatever they're called. Dude, it's still the South. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> oh, man. Have you had any new pieces added lately, Crystal? Or have you been really busy with conventions? Get them, Phil. Get them. Use your martial arts on these thieves. You know, you're only supposed to use it to, for self-defense, but in this case, you can make an exception. 
Most people deserve to get punched. <laughs> and we're getting on Chrono Trigger? Ooh, cool. Like, is it like a similar montage like your Final Fantasy portraits? Take care, Phil. Thanks for ha stopping in. Okay. I don't think there's anything here of interest. Nah. You make an exception? Hell yeah. Your Chrono Trigger art will be similar to Final Fantasy ones. I might want that. I have extra picture frames that I'm not using yet. I maybe want that from you. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Possibly. I gotta tell you right now, I wish I could afford your commission prices because they're so fucking good. Man. Do it. But I could buy prints. I can do that. Like, there's a reason Crystal gets hired by huge IPs to make art. Because it's that good. Because <laughs> that's how good it is. She gets top dollar commissions for top dollar work. You know your rates are high. They should be. Like... You deserve to be paid what your work is worth. They're correct, not high. Right. It's not like I... Like, you could say they're high. You could say what Dane Brett says, that they're correct. But what I'm saying is that I am not the person that can afford those rates. For custom commissions. As much as I would like to be. Just as much as I'd like to be able to own a house and pay someone else to upkeep it. You know, like that kind of thing. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's where it's at. So like you, you pay it more for quality. That's basically what it boils down to. It's worth that and not whatever has that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, how many other people's art do you see behind me? One. She's a great artist too. But I have like, <laughs> like eight things from Crystal behind me. There's a good reason for that. said go through this fort and I was good I so I don't want to go backwards I think I need to go this way okay cool this is it dun, 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 dun. meanwhile what in the world I'm glad you came. You are Dark Master, a spirit blacksmith with the power of darkness. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
This writing is so juvenile. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. The power of darkness. That needs to be clipped. Somebody needs to clip that for the audio. <laughs> uh, you want what they're having? Yes, sir. We are still running that clip contest, but we have only had like four submissions. I think so far. Yeah. Four, four clips so far. So yeah. In order for us to rule the world, we need the power of the light. You win a $10 steam gift card or a $10 game of your choice from humble if you win. So. Clip good moments. And Edit them if you want. We're both talented spirit blacksmiths. My father. His father. I know you can use the power of the light. Why are you giving an order to a stupid human? Are we not capable? Why does that guy sound like he's shouting in an oil drum? Give me the order! <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, he sounded like, is he not? I mean, that could be what he's wearing, yeah. I'm glad you came. You are Dark Master, a spirit blacksmith with the power of darkness. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Dark Master. Nice. You have the power of both the light and darkness. So in order to submit clips for the clip contest, you got to put them in the Share Clips channel in Discord. So if you're wanting to enter that, you got a clip you think will work, put it in there. I know you can do this. What's up, One Button Warriors? How are you? How the heck are you? You gotta do this. Bolt, I command you to help him. <laughs> Me? Okay, I will do my best. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no, what did I do? Oh no. I pushed the wrong button. There. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh shit. You didn't see that. <laughs> You thought that was your desktop? Nice. Yes. Yes, Thor. What is this? This is Thousand Arms. It's um, a PS1 JRPG dating sim. So it's right up your alley. Yeah. They sound like Disney characters? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. What? So that is the Dark Master. I love that this guy's name is Shaft. There's so much double entendre in this game. There's so many awkward sex jokes. GeForce experience. I never let them install that. I refuse. Because it's like, it just feels like spyware. It slows the system down. 
All right, let's go this way. I think there's a town or something on the other side of the hill. Oh, maybe the town is up here. <clears throat> no, but what is this? It's called Thousand Arms, a PS1 JRPG dating sim. <laughs> hey, mice, look. It's so beautiful here. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a JRPG dating sim, yeah. I've never seen such a beautiful place before. This is my first time outside of Boysby. You're testing what NVIDIA's idea of optimal settings are for certain games. Oh, interesting. Yeah. No. Were you in Jabal born in Boysby? We have not found any new dates. No. Does it have anything to do with Wild Arms? No. I thought it did too, but it's not. It's completely separate. <clears throat> I'm not sure. All I know is that since I was little, it's always been just Jabo and me. If it's one thing that I learned back home, good timing is important for two things. Dealing with enemies and impressing women. Oh boy. So the way I described this to my friend Stella was... Because she's knows very little about retro games. She's more of a modern gamer. I said, <laughs> I'm playing this hilariously awkward JRPG called Thousand Arms. It's like incels made an RPG. You need to go on dates with women and befriend them to forge better swords. But nothing about that is exaggerated. That's literally what this game is. <laughs> It's, this game is funny though for the wrong reason sometimes so yeah yeah it's like leaving a lot out too yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's just the sugar-coated version <laughs> oh my god um Shit, I don't know. Oh god, somebody actually clipped that? This was from yesterday. We gotta see this one. Hold on. I, I didn't think anyone clipped that. Ba -da -da. I'd like to be an adult. I would like to be an adult. That's how she opened the date. <laughs> uh, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> the date is over. It's, we're done. It's been real nice talking to you, but I can't be here any longer. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> ah! What did I just do? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We need that. No, we got this. Here. There you go. That was weird. Here, hold on. <laughs> it's too late. I can't do it now. <laughs> uh, she would like to be an adult, chat. No, the second date was when she asked if we would fart in front of her. Again, we're not exaggerating. She asked us if we would would fart in front of her or in her presence or so it was phrased in a specific way. It was really weird. <laughs> yes, she said that, Crystal. <laughs> uh, it was like one of the first questions. <laughs> Does she have a fart fetish? I'm worried she might, which is fine, but you usually don't, you know, open like the second date with that question. Whoo! <sighs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh. 
There you go. You can pick chat. What are we picking here? Poll is up. If you want to. <laughs> she straight up went, would you fart for me or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. It was something like that. So you can type A or B. It should let you do A or B as well. Hi, kitty. What you doing? You want treats? A or B, one or two, either works. Either one works. Well, this is pretty one-sided so far. <laughs> Y'all need Delos. Oh my goodness. She was dead serious. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was hideously awkward. What kitty? My cat is blocking the camera again. You can still see the pole here. So hi Coco. How'd the rest of your stream go? Mickey, you do this to me every night. You think that you're the streamer, which I mean, you are, it's true, but damn. <laughs> Coco's cat did this to her today in her stream. She was crocheting a VV, right? Was it crochet or cross stitch? I think it was cross stitch, cross stitch. She was cross stitching a VV. And her cat shows up and just lays down on top of it. <laughs> and he's like never on camera. And he just jumped up on the desk and decided to just hunker down right on top of it. <laughs> it was so cool to be on that side for once. Because I'm always dealing with this little diva. This little diva right here. Yeah. Are you happy right now, little laney? Make sure you go follow Coco Confession, folks. She's on my Glitch Co team that I just got invited to. She does a lot of charity stuff and um, speed runs, Link to the Past, and and uh, plays retro games. Did you? Are you still playing Final Fantasy VIII, Coco? Cats are the reason for the streaming. Yeah, pretty much. She's been playing Final Fantasy VIII, and I think it's your first time too, which is a lot of fun to see. Wickedy. Do you want treats? Should we give her some treats? What do you think? Let's give Lickety some treats. It's your first time. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. I love seeing blind playthroughs of games that I enjoy. There you go. I give them these. They love these, these salmon treats. You want some? There you go. Yeah, it's good, right? That's good. Do the glitch co command, Dane. It should have the link to the team. What are we voting on? Choice A is I will get her by being gallant. Choice B is now is my chance to charm her. I'm talking about Sodina. All right, one more lickety. You can get one more and that's it. Little tubster. Yeah, D made the team. Somebody do the command. Somebody do the command so people can find it. Do do do. Do 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 do. Okay, turn off that camera and go back here. All right. White knight or ass hat? You vote for C. I wish you could vote for C. This game desperately needs. Letter C. <laughs> uh, all right, nobody's doing the thing. I'll do it. Okay. Yep. 
Pretty much, Sammy. <laughs> Except literally anyone could do the command. All right. It looks like you all have voted. Nine votes to six. Choice B. So here we go. Now is my chance to charm her. So, Dina, everything will be all right. I will protect you with all my love. Now, give me a kiss. <sighs> Get away, you maniac. <laughs> well, anyway, let's go to the city over there, mice. <laughs> we get another one? Oh, we did. Yeah. Nice. Let's check it out. He's always Could you Here you go. Could you you know pass gas in front of me? <laughs> this was date 2. Date two. <laughs> could, 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 come again? <laughs> That's her first question. <laughs> That's her opener. We're going on a date and she opens with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the straight face is like the creepiest part. Oh, no. <laughs> I wish I knew. <laughs> oh, this game is off the freaking rails. Did I fart for her? For well, this the options were. I don't remember the first option, but the second option was yeah. Let's bust out the old blue flame, and naturally, chat picked that one. She didn't like that. She's like, ew! What are you doing? Okay. I guess you didn't want us to do that then. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this game is completely out of control. It's just completely out of control. The city of Hatoba. Okay. It sounds like resort town music. Like kitschy tourist trap music. Can I go in there? Darn. Can I go in here? All right, cool. Hello. Girl. Okay. She likes sunsets over the ocean. Too bad I can't go on dates like you do. Uh, why? Hmm. So I guess that MP that we keep finding is needed to, it's like a currency for forging swords. So I'm like always just kind of mashing X trying to find stuff. It's the wrong kind of funny? Yeah. She asked if you'd fart in her presence. She did not request you singe the hairs off your ass in a foul and reckless experiment. You don't know that. <laughs> what if that's what she was looking for? 
We've seen from a lot of her questions that they've been trick questions about half the time. We always with some kind of hidden meaning behind what she's saying, which is stupid. It's like, it's like the conversations, the dates were coded by people that have never been on them. <laughs> and they just had this like preconceived notion of what they were like. There we go. Maybe this was the reason why you weren't good with girls as a kid. I mean, I hope not, but man. You love asking your dates to fart the way. <laughs> See, this is why I missed you, because your chaotic energy is peerless. <laughs> you say the weirdest shit that I just never expect from you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm dying, Squirtle. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. No, I usually don't see him coming with Crystal. <laughs> Let me go back there. Oh, okay. Dun, dun. Thirty nine elemental ampere. I remember one time me and Crystal were doing a co stream, right? We're doing this co stream. We we're playing Baldur's Gate 3, the early access that had just hit. And like, we both like games like that. So I was like, yo, let's just co-stream it. Okay. We're getting through the game and we're working pretty well cooperatively, you know. Being patient with each other to explore, do whatever we wanted to do. And we get to this, like, ruin, right? And this was, like, two hours in. Everything had been going smoothly for the whole time, you know? Two hours in and, we're like, we're in this ruin. And I'm on this ledge. And she's below me. And she does this like ability, or no, she wasn't below me, she was next to me. She does this ability in Baldur's Gate 3 that I didn't know you had. It's called push. She shoves my ass off the ledge and this fucking like trap that drops a boulder falls on my character. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh. <laughs> she knew it was there and I did it. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gremlin over here. <sighs> I was like, oh, you're one of those kind of players. Okay. You get them complacent for a couple hours and then you pull the string. <laughs> yeah, it was Boulder's Gate 3, uh, basically. When she gets bored, she 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 gets up to mischief very quickly. <laughs> she just asked her to tell you about her D and D character. It was a druid. She played this like cute druid who is basically a snake oil saleswoman. She sold fake herbal remedies to like villagers and shit to get rich. It was so fucking funny. <laughs> Like, oh man, yeah, that fits your personality, actually. <laughs> the campaign's dead, you're so sad. Oh no! Crystal, if you want, I'm gonna be paying a DM to run one-shots in my Discord once a month. 
So if you miss D and D, you might be able to get in on that. If you're interested, let me let me know. I'll get you in the channel. And that's open to anybody, but I don't know if you have D and D going on or, or or not right now. What days? Um, the first one is scheduled. The party's already put together for January eighth. Uh, if it goes well and there's enough interest, we'll try to have them more than once a month. So basically what happens is we get a pool of people who are interested and then the DM gets together with all of the characters or the characters, the players and determines what schedule would work best and picks the players out of that pool. Um, people that didn't play the previous session get precedence that way so that people don't always feel left out. You're cute. Do you want to play with me? Um... Sure. Uh, yeah, sure. What is this? Oh, it's a date. Oh, fuck. Do you like girls? Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't know it was a date. <laughs> um, you're interested in joining a future session? Okay, cool. Are you... I think you're in the Discord, right? Yeah, you are. I'll give you the role. You'll get access to a new channel called Doors to Adventure. Iron Mog is the DM right now. If we get enough interest, I have another DM that wants to do it too, so... Let's see. Right now, as of now, there is... 12 people in the channel. So that's a good amount. That's a pretty good amount. So we've already had a pretty good amount of interest, but yeah, I like, I'm trying to build the discord beyond just Twitch. I want people to want to go to the discord to play like games together. I'm going to run, have a, someone run into a Minecraft server for everyone in the discord. Uh, I want D and D to happen frequently in the discord. So yeah. Yeah. Mog's my DM, but I have another person. She wants to run sessions too. She's interested. I said, I'll, I wanted to wait and see how this goes first and see how much interest there is. Uh, Cause I am paying the DMs to do this. I want, you know, like I'm investing in the community. So I hope people like that. You know, I hope people appreciate that. Do you like girls? <sighs> Chat. Chat, help me out here. <laughs> help me out here. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, when Mog stops in tonight, I'll make sure uh, to let him know to give you all the required permissions. Ah, shit. Dried out. Iron Mog. Yeah, Iron Mog. He's a DM. That's basically what he does for a living, as far as I know. Ooh, this one's close. Look at that. This is a really close one. <laughs> Do you like girls, of course, or B? Uh, yeah. Two is the bicarious answer. I could interpret it that way. Yeah, I could see that. I can see that. I need to get a lens wipe. This one got all fogged up. What's up, J-Rock? Wow, this one's still really close. It's currently 10 votes to eight. I'll give you guys just a, another minute while I clean this. This got really s scuffed up. Well, not scuffed, just fogged up. Yeah, that's better. 
Yeah, I'll be able to see now. Okay, cool. That is infinitely better. So the way the D and D one shots are going to work on discord is iron mog or another DM will screen share them in a voice chat. The players will join the voice chat. And they'll use that voice chat to, to talk during the session. Nobody's going to need webcams or anything like that. Um, but people will be able to spectate these sessions by also joining the voice chat. However, they will not have any voice permissions. So no interruptions will be possible in that respect. But that way, if you're not part of the sessions, but you still want to see what's happening on them, you'll be able to watch them in Discord. Watch and listen to them. All right, let's see. What is chat chosen here? With 20 votes total, 11 to 9, we go with, of course. Then would you do anything for a girl? Um... <laughs> uh, huh I don't like these answers now these answers suck <laughs> they're always the shittiest answers <laughs> I don't like where this is going I don't either where's the no answer like no she asked me to kill someone I'd tell her to fuck off like you know <laughs> you know she asked me to do something immoral like no fuck off <laughs> <laughs> Go ruin someone else's life. Wow, this is this is glaringly obvious with one here. Unanimous nearly. Almost unanimous. Wild. And I'll castrate myself because you asked the lady. I know, right? This is a red flag. Yeah. Yeah. Leading some personal servant stuff. Yeah. Okay. This one's pretty obvious. 14 votes to two. My goodness. Uh, yeah. What a chicken. Never mind. What a disappointment. I'm going to get going now. All right. Fuck off. I don't care. You, know, you should avoid disappointing girls or you'll have a hard time in the future. Bye bye. Wow, we dodged a bullet. <laughs> we dodged a bullet there. Oh my goodness. Uh. <laughs> we really dodged a bullet there. <laughs> what was that all about? <laughs> Good job, chat. You saved us from whatever the hell that was all about. going here ah the shop okay all right crystals nice seeing you again nice seeing you again hopefully you get uh, everything sorted out and you get uh, your commission done when you're allowed to talk about it I want to hear about it <laughs> I know NDA stuff is real so I think I need some potions yeah let's get some potions I have two. These have been pretty handy, so I'll buy six. You met people like that? It's wild. Like, they, they see you and immediately think of ways they can utilize you instead of seeing another person. Yeah, it's kind of crappy. Do, 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 do. You've met people. Yeah, yeah. You gonna go to sleep? All right. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us. Sleep well. Hope you have a good sleep. We'll see you next time. Oop, I already talked to this guy. Oh, he said something different that time. Hotel. 
the bar. I'm a little lost right now, not gonna lie. Oh, that's cool. There's like moving boats. Looks like a... You know what that looks like? Like one of those toy boats you would have had when you were like two years old for the bath. Doesn't even look like a real boat. <laughs> Which way it came from? I've like lost my bearings. Did I come from this way? I think I did. I did. I came from up there. Okay. Okay. I think I understand now. Have you ever like crossed your legs and accidentally like squashed your nuts? Because I just did that. I feel a little uncomfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing that out there. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> can't relate. Yeah, I guess you couldn't. <laughs> you get that like little bit of nausea in like the bottom of your stomach. It sucks. <laughs> I'm kind of like just like, mm. all I did was cross my legs. God damn. <sighs> Sounds nuts, yeah. That's that's about right, Karma, yeah. I know it was a bit of a personal question, but I also don't shy away from those. <laughs> dun, dun. I won't tell you for free. You gotta beat me in a chili drinking contest. Wait, you drink chili? What kind of chili are you eating? Don't do it, he just wants to make a fool out of you. What kind of contest is that? Nobody else here has the information. All right, well, I'll do that later. I want to explore first. Excuse me, please keep your hands to yourself, she says. Wow. This kid does not respect personal space at all. This is why men have to use perpendicular leg cross. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like chili, but it's gonna have texture to it. It's not soup. Like to me, chili is more of a stew than anything, not a soup. You eat that shit with like a big spoon or hell, you could even use a fork sometimes. There's a little tugboat. Yay, I accidentally got MP instead of talking to this woman. Oh, can't go in there. What's this? Smithy. Ooh. Sounds like a, an attack perpendicular leg cross. Like the one that, what's her name, Rummy had in Ephemeral Fantasia. She had like leg scissors. <laughs> or leg scissoring, I think it was called. Oh, God, it was so dumb. <laughs> do any forging no no forging see this is nice music and it also reminds me of breath of fire 3 simpsons episode the chili i think that's my favorite simpsons episode the insanity peppers and he like he goes on like a like a peyote spiritual journey, basically. It's so good. That one is so good. What kind of spaghetti goes good with chili? I mean, spaghetti is a type of pasta. They're all the same, unless it's just like wheat versus potato based. Dun, dun, dun. I've never tried chili with spaghetti, but that's not really that far-fetched. You know, because meat sauce is pretty common with spaghetti, and technically a chili could be a meat sauce. Just way more thick texture. 
So that that seems that doesn't seem like a bad idea to me. You know, if you wanted some some like extra starch or carb with that. Lipstick, cheap perfume, eyeshadow, Gerbera, red poppy lip balm. Okay. What kind of noodle? Spaghetti is a type of noodle. <laughs> uh. Oh, I'm like, I think you added the wrong person. How you make chili is beef, cumin, chili powder, cayenne, diced onion, tomato, something, and a good helping of whatever you have in the fridge. It's it's basically a stew a lot of the time. It's placed near the lighthouse. It's perfect for a date. There's some beautiful scenery there. The harbor is a good spot, too. Okay. Yay. Yeah, it's it's the spaghetti is literally just the type of noodle, like rotini or farfalle or penne, etc. There's so many kinds. I don't know, what kind do I like? It's like the... Is it Rotini? No. What is the one I like the most? I don't think it's Rotini. No. It's not for a folly. Eh? Fuck. Now I have to find it because it's going to bother me. <laughs> uh. I'd ask my roommate, but she's in bed. Shit. Rigatoni. That's it. Rigatoni. That's the one I like the best. Rigatoni is the one I like the best. The best. Mussolini? Dane, what are you doing? We're not talking about dictators in World War II. You goof ass. Rigatoni. That's the one. It's the one I like the best. That works good for big ZD. Well, ZD is... I don't know if ZD is the pasta type, but... I think that's what my roommate uses in it. And... She makes this homemade pasta sauce. And uses rigatoni. And when she makes that, which is like once a year... I can eat like two full plates of it and feel disgusting and not regret it. <laughs> well, kind of regret it a little bit. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> uh, your girlfriend's going to make lasagna for Christmas. Ooh, good homemade lasagna is hard to beat. All right, let's do this. Muzo, you take care of this. Bring it up, baby. Back in Trutsu, there's known as the man with the iron stomach. 
No way am I going to lose to an old geezer. All right. It looks like they're just drinking beer. Why did it say chili? Is this spicy beer? <laughs> Are we good at Italian? I am like 0% Italian. This is the funny thing. I'm Irish and Polish. <laughs> Mostly. Mostly Irish and Polish. Localization thing? It might be, yeah. Uh... But I mean, their faces are turning red and they're blowing out fire. So there's a little weirdness going on here. This is localization to get around the alcohol mentioning. Yo, Starneku, welcome back. You're not considered a real chili drinker until your blood starts boiling. Okay. Look, the sky's spinning around and around, or the night has just begun. I mean, it just looks like they're having a drinking contest, but why are the flames? You are an Italian citizen? I thought you were in Mexico. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> you had the... You had the, the Spanish version of... Of Demolition Man for your Tier 3 way back when... Yes! Hey, old man, are you okay? Tell me about the town behind the gate before you pass out. I'm getting old. Langard is the name of the town at the cape behind that gate. The people there are rumored to be pirates. That's why everyone's afraid of them. Anyone could get to the volcanic island. It's them. They don't trust outsiders, though. He's, yeah, he's passed out. Maybe it's alcoholic spicy chili. You're from Argentina. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know where that is. South America, yeah. That's the... Like, what? East and Northeast? Coast of South America, yeah. You're an Italian citizen since like 10 years. Okay, okay. Hi, D. He's passed out at you. <laughs> D, go to bed. D, is that spreadsheet easy to read? Because I don't know if people have complained that it's hard to read. I made a spreadsheet for my Twitch team that has everyone's socials on it so we can, like, like, keep track of each other. You'll destroy them? Okay. <laughs> I think you just missed Coco. She was just, she just stopped in. Like, I don't, I don't know if anyone's complained, but... I just want to make sure like it doesn't have accessibility issues. Like maybe someone has dyslexia or like color blindness, you know? So that's like the one, con the real concern there. Dude, dude, dude. Spicy chili drinking contest, strange. Don't worry, this happens all the time. You eventually wake up and go home. Oh, okay. You folks should go follow 8 D. It's a fun place. She's full of, like, happiness and warmth and, um, video games and, and piss and, um, and poo and, um, and chaos. And, yeah. Happiness and warmth. Yeah. That warmth is just, uh... Uh, unruly flatulence because you had too much dairy today so <laughs> the warmth is your pee <laughs> oh okay it's that all right <laughs> oh my god you feel it <laughs> Let's go find some pirates. The only threat to pee on people for legal reasons, you haven't peed on anyone. Listen, I don't kink shame around here, right? 
If you get your rocks off, peeing on folks, as long as it's consensual, you do you. I'm not saying I want to hear about it, especially in a live stream, but you know, you know, that's, that's your life to live. <laughs> Did I get my new stolen emotes yet? No, no. I, my emote artist is in exceptionally high demand to the point where he doesn't do commissions. He only has clients and I'm one of them. So it's going to be a bit. <laughs> Probably gonna be like mid January is my guess by the time I get him. Cause he does emotes for like some of the biggest channels, so they 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 tend to commission all the time for like emote changes, seasonal stuff, etc. I'll be doing seasonal emotes next year, so like holiday time like Halloween and um um December holidays will do some holiday emotes for us. My emotes are famous. They are. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big deal. Yeah. Thank you for noticing. That's really kind of you. And here I was, I thought you were only here to sh shit post. That's, that's, that's quite the, the turnaround. <laughs> Listen, I'm allowed to toot my own horn sometimes, fucker. <laughs> And I have people that tell me they see my emotes all the time. <laughs> and they didn't even know who I was. Uh, your emotes have been stolen. <laughs> uh, oh, look. This is different. Who are you people? I can't let just anybody go through. Why? Why? Foreigners don't belong here. Well, let me in. Go home. What a pain in the ass. Oh, well that didn't work. They just closed the door. You did see the emotes before we were friendly and you were like, those are cute, but I'm lazy. No, that's a big mood. Yeah. Oh, well, let's have fun with the ladies. I swear was that about the ladies? <laughs> uh, so what do you call that? Nice, you just love getting slapped around, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Should've wasted time doing this. Let's go find out what we need to know. Okay. Mice is a freaking hopeless horn dog. When I I when I first saw D's emotes. I didn't know what they were, so I thought it was like a blue... I thought it was like a little blue cashew. <laughs> or something. I was like, wait, what is that? And everyone's like, it's a ghost! I'm like, okay, whoa. Relax. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know yet. I hadn't met them. Cashew. Yeah, blue cashew. Because that makes sense. <laughs> uh, that would make them D's nuts. Yeah. Exactly. Which, I mean, that's the thing over there anyway. If you ever go over there, ask somebody about D's nuts. You'll learn pretty quickly. They even play porn music for it. $69.99. They'll tell you all about D's knots and they'll play you porn music. It's pretty good. You know, you get the whole package. <laughs> <laughs> You've played this D? No way. You've played this. Play the porn music if I actually knew the name of it. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, whatever. Yeah, apparently a royal visage has played this too because she has that emote from this game. Is it literally just called that?
I like that the, that, that game has a song called The Loser. <laughs> Literally a song called The Loser. Like, damn. It's really harsh. The ending theme of Streets of Rage could fit that too. Hmm. Not that. It's not that. I can't find it. This one. It's not that. <laughs> it's not that. Okay. I'm gonna play the game instead. <laughs> Hello, person. You know what? Nobody's seen any ships leave Langov these last couple of months. Okay. That's great. Thank you for that information. We've done this before on my stream. I don't remember that. It's called The Spy. Oh, that's why I couldn't find it. Because it's misspelled. This? The porn music? Yeah, this is the porn music. This is the porn music. Best song of the game. <laughs> These two characters are about to get it on in this jam? Yeah, absolutely. It's <laughs> <sighs> a great track. Get you in the mood, doesn't it? Get you in the mood. Is that the theme to Shaft? It might as well be. Oh no, where do I go? Strange warrior seen just outside of town. Well, that sounds like a hint to me. All right, that crazy lady isn't there anymore. So here we go. That didn't work. Yeah, this game's pretty bad with conveyance. I said something. Oh boy. Is it that mysterious warrior? None shall pass without fighting me. Okay. This must be that warrior the townspeople were talking about. What should we do, mice? Um. Is it true you know about Langoud? Langoud. Probably got inspired by a movie and making that music track? Maybe, yeah. He does love music of that era. He's a huge fan of that stuff. Like 70s action flicks and music of that era. And songs that come from those things. I 
I'm in your bug and count. What did you say? You haven't caught a glimpse of my sword yet. He pulled a lot from film for Final Fantasy VIII. Is there... Is there somewhere you can read about that? Because that's interesting. I like reading about stuff like that. Like a book or like an interview or something. That was a good hit. If this was any other sword. It would have snapped in two. Twister blade. Here we go. How you doing? It's like Ayla came into this game with with a big hammer. Actually met someone who could I've actually met someone who could resist my strongest attacks. Oh, she's saying that to him. Okay. It's been a long time since I've been this excited. Alright, let's go. Nah, he's he saw Booba and he's done. He's out. He's down for the count. He got one glimpse of Booba and he's he's useless now. <laughs> What's up, Skylines? Well, the long day at work is over, right? You're here? Hopefully. Who's this paralyzed again? Yeah. Yeah. You can't fight me because I'm a woman? Well, too bad. All right. Oh, <laughs> she knocked his sword off the cliff. <sighs> Challenger. Challenger. Let's go. I want to I want to see more art of the booba. I want to see more art of the booba. Not ashamed of that. I liked what I saw there. See, that's that's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad. I kind of dig the outfit, you know? <laughs> Let's summon Akun. And you can't do anything but heal. So you can be cheerleader for some reason. Splish. The booba is super effective, yeah. Fifty five, that's really good. Forty one. Oh my god. When did he get that strong? Ooh, she hits just as hard almost. She's taunting the enemy. Lowered her offense. Ha ha. Suck it, nerd. Oh, I stunned her. That's pretty nice. Do 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 do. Aku. We gonna go watch Samurai Jack now? It's a good show. I never did finish it though. Ow! We definitely need heals now. Oof. You've never seen anyone stream this game? I've seen only two people do it. Background guy O2 and The Strange have streamed this. Season 5 was worth the wait. 
Yeah, I never did finish that show. It's really good. I know it looks like Ayla, doesn't it? Doesn't it, Karma? Ayla is my favorite in Chrono Trigger. Ayla is Bela, basically. Nice. Ooh, the dodge though. Gee, she's still not down. Back to work you go. How dare you make a living? Wow, the nerf. Ah, oh, she blocked it. Ah, uh -huh, lowered your offense. I'm coming. <laughs> How dare I number 230? Uh, I mean, that's what Musa just did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, we won. What's the chance on that? It's like, I think it's like one in 20 or something like that. Mice is a great spirit blacksmith. Even your power can't break his sword. Please give me your sword. No. What did you say? I'm Weena, daughter of the Langu chief. Okay. When my old man and I fought, I accidentally broke his favorite sword. He's so angry. I can't go home until I repair it. I know I can't fix it, so I'm trying to replace it. Why don't you just bring it to a blacksmith? <clears throat> I fought anyone who came along to test their swords, but they were all so lame until I met you. <laughs> Please, I'll do anything in exchange for your sword. Just name it. I'm sorry, but I can't give you my sword. I can fix your sword if you want. Huh? Really? Not too bright, this one, huh? You know it must be done. Yeah, I guess for the memes. I hope this isn't sabotage. This is pretty awful. Like in real life, this would be pretty awful. <laughs> How about a date? I never expected that from you. Yeah. I didn't mean it that way. Wow. See, this this is making me feel shitty. No, I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> Why don't we just do it right here? Uh, what? Here? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, sure, if you say so. Uh, I'm pretty good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, too. Okay, then. Here I come. Uh, that's not how a date's supposed to be. It's not a big deal, right? Oh my god. <laughs> so Dina deserves better. That isn't how a date's supposed to be. I thought it involved pooping on lawns, but you know, you know, you learn things, so. <laughs> I got him stuck. <laughs> Throat punches. Yeah, those, those are part of it too, is my understanding. And, um, 
uh, leaving awkward gifts at strange times, like um, a discarded junk mail in their house when they're sleeping. I like that too. You wanna see a retro thing? Okay. Okay. Let me um, figure out where the hell I'm going first. Where did she say she was gonna be? Oh, right here. Not right here. Where was the blacksmith? Right here. She said she would be somewhere. Where did she say she was going to be? You can only fart if you have Taco Bell. Well, apparently Sodina has had all the Taco Bell in this game. She's not here. I don't know. <laughs> you were the sprite because you love defensive magic? Yeah, the sprite's pretty good too. Ironically, the main character is probably the least interesting to play. <laughs> All right, we're going to find um, not Ayla, whatever her name was that I already forgot. Someone said she was at the beginning of the town or whatever. I don't know if that's this way. Oh, any character can do that? Holy Sword Legend is rough translation. Ah, okay. <clears throat> she was strong. Strong women are gorgeous, huh, Mice? Yeah. yeah. saying why are you so tired um i don't know I'd rather be walking with a girl than dragging your sorry ass around wow why is he so mean <laughs> he's always getting slapped god I don't know if I, I feel like I'm fucking this game up so bad. He's just always getting slapped. All right, there she is. She's by the pirate fort. You spend so much time at the water palace. I would do their magic training in um, those ruins by um, whatever the name of that town, that castle town was. I don't know where those ruins. It's the one with the the, the boss is the, the fucking wall with the eyeballs. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Miss Wina, you know these scum? I mean, people? We have no idea. Yeah, that slap. Yeah. Phasma? Yeah, something like that. I don't remember. <clears throat> well, man, sword is in the warehouse. Okay. Waiting in the tower. Okay. Okay this round so we can see or not <clears throat> Matango oh the mushroom village that had that cool music how come my line has no voiceover is that because we're extras this sucks <laughs> okay <sighs> the mushroom king yeah yeah Yep, I remember now. <laughs> the fourth wall is absent. It is, yep. Can I go in here? Darn. There's a big secret? Tell me the secret. Darn. Did 
Did we seriously just get it over 800 subs? Wow. That's wild. That's completely wild. The music of the Colts was creepy. Yeah, that was the music I would hear when I was training magic. Because I would go to those... I cannot see. Where I would go to those ruins to level up magic or grind. Duh! Ugh. Okay. <laughs> there is no wall. Oh my goodness. Dude, is my sister hitting on you, dude? Um, I don't know. Who's your sister? Is she? I found an elemental spirit in the fridge. Waiting in front of the goddess statue. Please ask me out. I'm just playing with you. I'm stuck in here for the whole game. <laughs> She's like, come on, give me a break. I'm stuck here the whole game. <laughs> oh, no. Where am I? You should fix the sword. I, I want to. I'm just, I'm having a hard time navigating because of this camera. I promise I want to. Let's go up here. Hotel. I should be able to save here. Found a spirit chilling in the fridge. Oh, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hope this game doesn't have like soft lock potential. Because I seemingly am screwing up every relationship we're on. <laughs> uh, and I'm a little worried about that. Mm, nothing here. All right. Strange. There's just like these water trenches everywhere that don't really make any sense. What's this? The smithy. Okay. I need to find the weapon first. That is a noisy fucking fan. Thankfully, the range isn't too far. Got to find the sword first before we can forge it. It's trying to get behind him. Yeah, I wish it wasn't doing that. Like, it should just be static and let me move it as I need to. This way? No. I mean, I do have to go in that tower. <laughs> God damn it, where am I? <laughs> All right, there we go. <sighs> in hindsight, it's not such a good idea. Yeah. Like if you're playing like a third person action game, yeah, you want to do that, but it wants to be quick. You need to be quicker about it. Wait, what? Left is a control tower and the right is the second connecting tower. You can get to town through the second connecting tower. Okay. I'm going to go this way instead then. What's up, dark cuckoo? Music changed. Grapple sword warehouse downstairs. Acquired six elixir. 
Wow, they just let me waltz in and steal that? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought for sure that was going to be like locked. This game has bathrooms. Oh, oops. Go back. It's a big town. I think this is the biggest one we've been to. And it's just a pirate fortress. Oh, nice. Save Damashi. What is Damashi? You saw the slap marks? Yeah, that's probably it. What the fuck, robot? <laughs> no, not Damacy, Damashi. I wish it was Damacy. That's a good game. I had fun with it. I'm assuming this is an elevator. Let's go this way. Yeah, this kid is just gets slapped around all the time. And the thing is, he's earned every one of them. <laughs> Katamari is weird where it's relaxing and stressful at the same time. Yeah, I think it's the music. I think the music is a big part of it. Grapple sword. Okay. Can I take the other swords, please? Darn. Dang. I'm determined to master the way of cleaning and become the cleaning master. Then I can ask Palma out. Oh, okay. So that's how you do it. All right. All right. You heard her first chat. You want to ask someone out. You have to become the master of cleaning. Okay. Probably a bitter pill to swallow for some of us. <laughs> uh, myself included. <laughs> uh. Yamato Damashi is the soul of old Japan or Japan spirit. I see. Priestess. They're responsible for the secret. Okay. This is interesting. Did I get lost? Mm, yeah. But getting lost is the first way, the first step in um, learning how to navigate. I really want time to do some cleaning and I would like to go out on a date as well. Oh, okay. I see. It might be both. Mice does get slapped around like crazy in this. Oh my God, if I do this, it makes the noise stop. <laughs> uh, it's hard to do. Okay. 33 elemental spirit. All right, cool. 
The noise doesn't actually bother me. I was just shocked by that. I like the sprites in this. I'm not so big on the 3D environments. They're okay. This has probably been the most um, visually interesting 3D environment that we've encountered is this area. It is a big improvement over the first town at, at the very least. I think most of the, the impressiveness of the art direction in this is during the cutscenes. When it's basically just like anime. Like live 2D anime. So there's like limited animation going on. It's kind of cool. Elementor Spirit. We just keep finding that everywhere. I can't use the elevator yet. Why? Why? Why not? That's so stingy. Do, 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 do. Was this just a bathroom? Yeah, it looks like showers. Oh, gosh, Rick. What's up here? She's like blocking all these paths. I guess we're not gonna go on a date. Hello. You can get a panoramic view. It isn't meant for tourists though. Can I get a panoramic view? I can get elemental spirit. Okay. Sure. He's bored. Okay. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Trot, trot. All right. There wasn't really anything of interest out there. I guess we should fix the sword. I don't know if we finish exploring though, and I do want to do that. Exploring is one of my favorite parts of an RPG. I never get tired of it. What about you folks? What are your favorite parts of an RPG? What's up, Payne? How are you? The end? Does it mean you don't like RPGs at all? What's down here? Don't get lost. Okay, okay. You like exploring and cool boss fights. Darkens you like a good class system. Oh. What a struggle to see. <laughs> oh my god. Your favorite part is when the camera is spinning around all the time. Cutie, <laughs> you love cool crafting systems and skill charts. Yeah, that stuff is pretty fun, too. I'm doing well, Payne. Thanks for asking. Folks, Payne is asking how everyone is doing today. Plot twists twist when they're done right. DQ11 crafting is your favorite was good. Karma, you like it when you like an RPG you can repeat. Any moment that makes you go, oh shit. Yeah. 
exploration and crafting are big draws. That's why you're a fan of HCD. So you apply that to all games, not just RPGs. Makes sense, Sammy. I wish there was a space game that was that had that. I've been wanting a space game that has that for ever. Like, oh, you can go fly all around and then like get out and walk around and do things that are important, you know? Those don't exist. They just don't. Like the closest I've seen to that is sort of No Man's Sky or sort of elite dangerous, but they don't really have any meaningful, like immersive, like lore or story to get into. That's hilarious, Mog. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Bethesda's making a space game? Eh. I don't really trust them as a game developer at all for making anything that has a meaningful story. Because I don't think they ever have. They've made great games that are sandboxes, but I'm not looking for that. Like, I want something to make me feel like I'm immersed in that kind of setting. So... Supposed to be like Skyrim in space. I mean, they always do middling stories and lore, so I just like don't care. <laughs> like I'm just not excited for that. It's like when it comes to Bethesda, anything they make, it's wait until it's out for me. Evade ring, evade right up, female only. Okay. She's never in the front row, so I don't really see the point. Yeah, Vlad, that's basically, yeah. That's basically to me what No Man's Sky and Elite Dangerous is. As wide as an ocean and as deep as a, as a kiddie pool, you know? Those games I can play for a couple days and I realize how shallow they are and I get bored. Do, 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 do. There's this retro game, Freelancer, that has lore and exploration. I've heard of Freelancer, I've never played it. Like my, like to me, I want a space game where you are like a person first that you can fly ships in. Does that make sense? So that you actually, you, you, I can't get connected to those space games where it's just the ship because I'm not a ship and I can't imagine myself being one. So it's like hard for me to imagine that I'm anything other than that. So like, it has to have that fully immersive element. Like, like Mass Effect 1 did it really well in a sense. And the other two games dropped this, which was really stupid, I think. In Mass Effect 1, you were Commander Shepard, and when you went to the Normandy, you walked to it, and there it was, docked somewhere, right? And you would go up to the airlock, and you would go in the airlock, and the airlock would close, and you'd do the decompression, and that was the fucking load screen. And then you were inside your ship. There was never a disconnect. You always felt like you were just part of this connected universe. The other two games dropped that, and that was stupid. There's no games that do anything like that. They just don't. So, that I've played, that I've played, so. I've played Outer Worlds, it was all right. It just felt too instanced for me. You know, like I just felt like I was playing a hub-based game and it didn't really feel like I was in space or any, any kind of like big setting like that. What is Privateer 2? I've never heard of that. I'm not a ship, Loki. I know. Shocking. <laughs> uh.
like Outer Worlds felt like Obsidian wanted to make another Fallout and they couldn't, so they made that instead, which is cool because they made their own setting. But it just has a lot of those same like weird like hyper corporate themes in it. Mass Effect wanted elevator music. It did. It did, yeah. <laughs> it did, yeah. Eve Online is like the opposite of what I'm saying. Like I said, I, I don't play a game like that and imagine myself as a ship because you don't ever see your pilot or actually do anything as the pilot. Story-centric sci-fi game with spaceships. Use movies like the old Wing Commander games. I think Outer Wilds is good, but it's not what I'm looking for. Like, I never feel like I'm flying through space or in a solar system in that game. I just feel like I'm in a hub-based game. Oh, it looks like we should probably stay at an inn. I'm kind of lost. I played EVE Online too, so I... It's like I, I know what it is. And it's... It's got the space and like galaxy element down and it has 0% of the actual like pilot portion of it. You never feel like a pilot in that game. You feel like you're playing as a spaceship. So when EVE Online actually had like a, a captain's quarters thing, I was like, finally, this game is moving towards something that I can actually feel immersed in. And then they fucking dropped it. Cause the people that like that game don't give a shit about that stuff. And what did that tell me? It told me that that just wasn't the game for me. It's not what they're focused on. Uh, just give me a link in Discord for that mod, because I don't really know what it is. If you could, like a GOG link or something. No, X2, I want a game in a science fiction space setting where you are a pilot that can explore. Not a science fiction setting, science fiction space game where you are a ship that can explore. Does that make sense? Like you need, you need to be able to immerse yourself as the person that's experiencing all of that. And that just doesn't happen with any space games that are out right now. I want to be able to get in a ship, go into the cockpit, fly it somewhere, land it, get out of the ship, etc. Does that make sense? Like, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm a guy that walks around and then I go up to the ship and I click like a menu option and it takes me to another area, you know? That's just some hub instance based system. And there's no immersive aspect to that whatsoever. Yeah, same rendezvous. Star Citizen was supposed to be that, but that's basically never going to be released in any way that can, uh, uh, can appease people because of all the hype and money it's raised. It will never live up to the hype. Frankly, if it was at a point where it could live up to the hype, way more people would be streaming it. Plain and simple. It went too big. Yeah, they went as far as they possibly could with feature creep, and it's resulted in a never finished game. Subnautica in space? Yes, that's probably the best way to explain it. Yeah, pretty much but not isolated to one planet. That's probably the best way, best comparison I could think of, yes. At least the space version of it, I wouldn't be constantly terrified because of philosophobia. <laughs> Cause goddamn. Ugh. I still need to play that game, but I don't know how. 
like I don't want to stream it. I can't. It's just, it's not for this channel. But it would be interesting to see if I could handle it. Some game types won't be fully realized until AI. I don't know. I wonder. Okay, here we go. Yeah, neither one of those do that, Yaksha. You're probably right. They're the closest, but like we said, those games are as wide as an ocean and as deep as a kiddie pool. There's just no depth to them. You don't have philosophobia, but it still scared you. I mean, there's scary parts of that game, but the fact of the matter is that anytime I could not see the bottom of the sea or the ocean bed, just anxiety, chest clenching, you know, labored breathing, just lizard brain, you know, in the center of my head there, just taking over. It just wasn't good. <laughs> I was leaning extremely heavily on that sonar pulse as often as it would let me use it so I knew where the fucking floor was. And anytime I couldn't see it, I would freeze up. And I had to take lengths to make sure I could. Other times when I knew I had to cross a very deep section, I would basically, I'd have to refuse to look down. I just couldn't, could not look down. Like the whole don't look down thing is legit. I just could not, I just, I had to pretend that it wasn't deep. Ugh, it just like freaks me out thinking about it. God, like my spine is tingling right now. Ugh. I don't like talking about it. <laughs> Ugh. You can have a game in early access nice. and more stuff. It's time to wake up. And still have a good game that people pay money for, right? I don't know what Star Sector is. I never heard of that. I would like to save my progress. A whale phobia. Interesting. That's a pretty specific one. That's kind of cool. I mean, it sucks for them, but like, I didn't realize they could get that specific. The reef backs, the first time I met one, I was pretty scared because I didn't know, like, it wasn't that I met one, I heard them and I had no idea what it was and I was like freaking out. Like the first time I heard one, I think I immediately turned around and went back to my base and stayed in there for a little while and just like came up with other things to do until I calmed down. <laughs> Because it was just so loud. It was like, what the fuck? That thing th sounds huge. And I was gone. I was out. It took me a long time to figure out what that noise was coming from. I think someone in chat had to tell me because they realized how much it was freaking me out. <sighs> VR did that rendezvous? Oh, wild. Like, I, I'm not afraid of heights, but I still get a kind of get a rush when I jump from a high height in a video game. Um, but yeah, I get an actual reaction to what uh, uh, philosophobia is most commonly attributed to oceans, but it is really just quote unquote abyssal structures. So anything that is quote unquote bottomless is really what triggers that reaction. Yeah, space is fine because it's not bottomless. It's, it's just all around you. Like you can't fall forever or get crushed, you know, or whatever, you know, like there's not, that's not the thing. Like you pick a direction and you go that direction, that's it. Like, you have full control of your faculties. So, it's it's completely different. Hi, Cinny. How's it going? It totally is, Cinny. 
<laughs> in space, you don't technically go down, right? Because there isn't a down in space, right? And there's really no, not really any appreciable gravity relative to our own perception. So really the only way you could feel quote unquote pseudo gravity in space is through thrust or acceleration. So a continued rate of acceleration creates G forces. So if you accelerate at a certain rate, you can get it up to a comfortable one G, which is earth gravity. If you're constantly accelerating at that rate, it, it would feel like those forces being applied to you are earth gravity. Although it feels more like a push than a pull, right? Because that's what it is. Where the fuck do I go? I think I go down here. I got to find what's her name, basically. I had to make a controversial title after suggesting one. Yeah, yeah, for Andy. <laughs> uh, is this fucking restaurant named Dead Lobster? Did you see that sign? This is a restaurant called Dead Lobster. <laughs> uh, oh my God, that's incredible. Dead Lobster, let's go. Let's get their cheesy bread, all right? Let's get some cheesy bread. I'm assuming this is where you would take someone on a date or whatever. You could spin constantly. If you, yeah, if you use centrifugal force or whatever it is in a specific like direction. Parody of Red Lobster? Yes, yes. Oh. Date a girl, sure. Only Sodina, all right. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna take Sardina to Dead Lobster. <laughs> Do they have? I know that's what I'm saying. You gotta get your cheesy, cheesy bread, right? Date here? Yes. Are you ready, chat? PS Five's on your way to your house. Yo, sick. Do you like to watch romantic movies? Do we like to watch romantic movies? Let's have a relationship like they do in the movies. I dream of romance like that. Okay, this seems like the nice answer. This, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we did save relatively recently. I'm going to say this one. I'm just going to go with B here. I want that kind of passion. All right. We got it right. We got it right. Do you think I'm childish? Yes. I personally think you're really childish. Not as much as mice, but... She did say she wants to be an adult before, right? So, I know it's a weird thing to say, but she did. So this one might kind of, you know, play to what she wants to, to be. I don't know. You're wearing a dress with enormous pink bows. That's fair. <laughs> Josh, you say Dragon Quest is better because it's... He thinks it's trolling you by making the Puff Puff Girl get replaced by a huge beefy man in a leather harness. And little does it know that's exactly what you're there for. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're going to go with B. I want to pick this one. Because this one's like, oh, yes, you're childish, but you're cute. Like, I don't want her. She doesn't look like she wants to be considered childish. What are you looking at, mice? Why was that wrong? <laughs> Jabil has told me that true love does exist if you truly believe in it. What do you think? I think your questions are bullshit. <laughs> uh... 
Uh, uh, huh. Anytime Mice calls her an adult, he's looking at her assets. <sighs> this game just does not play nicely. Okay, it doesn't play nicely, even a little bit. I think we've gotten slapped three times tonight. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't like that it doesn't really give us context to these answers. chat might have lost here here you go you pick <laughs> all right a or b A lot of us are going to go, okay. I thought this one would be a little more even. Because I was really not sure what to say here. But it looks like most of you are going to say, I don't know what to say. Which is true. I don't know what to say. Right? <laughs> you rolled a dice for it? That's fair. It's totally fair. Okay. Let's go. 13 votes to three. All right. Why do you say one and two? Because the poll thing is you pick the choice with numbers, but you can also say A and B. I think you can say that what's actually in the field. I don't know what to say. Why do you say it like that? <sighs> we got it wrong. <laughs> Are you following the teachings of the elemental spirits? Of course, how could I forget my master's words? It's got to be this one. This is just the thirst answer. I'm picking one. I don't even care. Yes, mice. Always remember that. Yes, I got one right. Am I not attractive to you? <sighs> what? This one again? another trap question yeah <laughs> loss in translation there had to be yeah this is a trap question there's no way to you have to answer <laughs> you have to uh, you have to answer you don't have a choice this is a required answer all right cool I'm picking A. What are you looking at, mice? God damn it! <laughs> Do you believe that certain people are destined to meet? Okay, let's be a total clueless fucking sap. It doesn't matter. I only love you. Oh, mice. You love me that much? I can't tell if that's a good answer or not. I'm 
She doesn't look mad. She looks scared. <laughs> you think that was good? I hope so. <laughs> I feel ashamed about how weak I am. Life can be very difficult, but I think you're strong. This seems like a great answer. Right? This is a great answer. Like, times are tough, but I see the strength in you, right? Like, that's a fucking really affirming answer. You just crushed your soda can. I, what, I, what I know is I don't understand anime, but this is the good answer. And this better be the right fucking answer. You're the first yes. person to tell me that. Yes! <laughs> I even made the happy noise. Oh. Man. You know, Mice, I'm a pretty good cook. Pretty good cook. Okay. This is seems like also a good answer. Will you cook something for me? I mean, it could be like we could cook something together it would really be the better answer, right? Um, this just seems like he's being a dick. Like, yeah, you're just like, this is almost like accusing her of lying. This is like, oh, make me a sandwich almost, but it's not. I, I, come on, let's, let's just go cook something. Sure, I'd love to. Nice. Okay, cool. Innocent question. Natural reaction. Okay. Whew. What do you like best about me? Uh-oh. Uh oh <laughs> None of these are the right answer. <laughs> you don't pick something about a woman's appearance when they ask what do you like best about me, okay? That just shows you're a little shallow. <laughs> You pick the shit that they put work and thought into, okay? <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna pick hair. I'm gonna pick hair. Thank you very much. Okay. It's necessary to get scolded sometimes. Me as a person, I agree with this statement. <laughs> well, I love your BS questions. <laughs> what do you love best about me? Your bullshit questions. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I agree. Do you really think so? Yes. Okay, that seems like a neutral response. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. <laughs> this was really fun. Please ask me out again. We did it. Wow, we were really bombing at first, but we made the recovery. Yeah, it's any this game's 18 plus because I want to get banned forever on Twitch. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's for chat. That's for chat. You got you got the smooches. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah.
We got the smoochy boochies. Boo boo kitty fuck. The date did feel like being at gunpoint. That's valid. Yeah. That's valid. I'm just trying to find a save point. We actually had a successful date and I'm worried. What's this? Wynan's eye patch is only for looks. So. You can't evade my privacy, even if you're the main character of the game. Don't go snooping around my house. Oh, wow. Eye patches were utilitarian. They weren't there to cover missing eyeballs. They were for going below decks on our ship. I do it all the time in the middle of the night when I use the restroom. You know what I do? I get up, I close one eye, I turn the light on in the bathroom, I do my business, and then I turn the light off and I switch the eyes that are closed and you can see just fine. That's what an eye patch was for. I do it every night. <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't believe me? Try it. It will change your life. All right, I need to find a save point. That, yeah, that was a contentious date. It really was. It felt quite awkward. <laughs> oh, man. Moon and light from the street lights. Yeah, I don't got none of that here. Where does this go? Print club. Oh, she's talking about some stickers or whatever. Is this where the hotel was? Roft. Oh, these are shops. Yeah, okay. Dating class 101. <laughs> uh, listen, the best way to go on a date is to just treat the person the way you want to be treated. That's it. If the way you want to be treated and the only thing on your mind is getting fucked, <laughs> you're probably jumping the gun there and you've, you've already screwed yourself. Quilting? Yes, that's how you date. You go quilting, yeah. That's it. Oh, I'm back here. I'm just going in circles. I am a little spun. mission failed successfully in a, in a manner of speaking yeah we had a successful date at dead lobster There it is. Okay, we can save. And then we got to find Ayla. That's why they have Tinder. It's there for those just looking to hook up. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Save game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
What do you got, Crystal? What do you got? Do, 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 do. I will say that I'm not the best person to ask dating advice from. Do I know how to treat people? Yes. Do I know how to go dating? No. Do I want to? Not really. Not really interested. Not so much. It would take an exceptional person to break me out of that. I don't like the idea of like going on that quote unquote hunt. It's just a weird way to think about it. I just want to hang out with cool people and if something develops like that from that, then two grown ass adults can make that decision together. I do like a lot about this game so far. I wish the gameplay was better though. That's kind of weird. Like everything about this game has been pretty good except the gameplay, which seems ironic. Dragon Quest, you say the story's less convoluted and the music is better. Bitter batter, bitter batter. All right, is this it? No. I don't remember how to get there. How the hell did I get there? Oh, this might be it. This looks right. That rope bridge. That looks familiar. Here we go. Okay. You met at your church through mutual friend, friends for two years, and then you started dating. Oh, that's cool. Things just kind of developed that way naturally, right? Oh, they won't let me use the uh, elevator yet. There she is. Boing! Sword looks even better than it did before I broke it. Nice. I want to know more about the Langoud. Why do we want to know more about the Langoud? We want to go to Volcanic Island. Oh, because we need to find the spirits. I'm gonna have to talk to your old man about it. Okay. Don't try anything funny. Oh, I will try things that are funny. That's what I do. The view from there is great. Huh. This might be the planet we're on. Cool. Dun, 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 dun. Do you know where my other crewmate is? He always disappears when we're busy. Uh, that's the person you fire. So you fire those people. Dun, dun, dun. What did I write, Colonel Kid? I'm not sure what you're saying. This is a big banquet room. Check this out. This is posh. Ooh, I got a back room here. I want to check this.
dun, 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 dun. What's it part say? He's one. No, it's called Thousand Arms Robot. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Zapara is like that fucking viewer that shows up to a channel for the first time and starts asking you to play other games. You ever seen that? That shit is so ignorant. <laughs> Will you play this game? No. Go back to your room and do your homework. <laughs> uh, stop asking me. <laughs> You ever play Fortnite? No. No, I don't do that. Does your mom let you be on Switch this late? <laughs> Hide wide. You shush, Mel. You shush. Get out of here with that Hide wide. I'm pretty sure I played Hide wide as a kid on the NES. I hated it. <laughs> Uh, I really didn't like it. Wow. Mick Patches. Duncan's Gaming Game Chest. Hello? Ah, right. Is that really my sword? That's your sword, my dude. That's your sword. Yeah, you got a drum roll when you raided. How about that? Patching in, I like that. I like that. Your raid message is tied into the name. It's pretty cool. When I'm playing Apex, listen, I stream retro games, but I'm not against playing any game if it's off stream. All right, I had someone recently ask if I wanted to play games and I'm like, well, I don't really play modern games, but I would think it would be fun. And I was like, you know what we could do? I could play new games with you, and then you could play old games with me. And she's like, oh, well, low-key, I'm terrible at retro games. And I was like, well, I'm terrible at new games, so it should be hilarious. <laughs> uh, are you seeing side boob? Uh, no, that's her butt. That's her butt. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So you all get to stare at the butt. How about that? Yeah. Play Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Isn't that a retro game at this point? <laughs> uh, I'm looking at the butt, all right? I, that's that's what I'm liking. The long hair is pretty nice, too. <laughs> that's pretty nice, too. BGG's forced to play Superman 64. Does he have to beat it? Because, damn. That's, uh... <sighs> That's too bad. <laughs> yeah, what is this force? Let me guess. It was like a sub-goal or something. Dun, dun, dun. I... Let's see. I still have to do... Of the sub goals left, I have to do this is one of them. After this, we're doing the Breath of Fire 2 B team run. Um After that, we're doing Final Fantasy 4 complete, including the after years. And after that, we're doing Seven Saga. And chat gets to pick the team with a poll. So we got a lot of interesting and rough things coming up. Pretty flat butt. Eh. I like all shapes and sizes. <laughs> uh. It has a mysterious new luster. It looks stronger and more beautiful. Ah, I get it. You must have stolen a sword that looks just like my old one. McPatches, if I didn't say it, thank you again for the raid. Um, I really appreciate it. I hope you had a good time. Are you playing Wild Arms casually? I haven't played that yet, and I would love to. But yeah, it's good to have you folks here. Thanks for supporting Matt, uh, McPatches on that raid. I hope you had a good time over there. We do retro games and RPGs here, so I hope that sounds good to you. Uh, follows are anonymous, so if you're a big lurker like me, you can pop that button. No names show up. No names get called out. No names get seen. Well done, Lena. 
us, my girl. <laughs> Your theory is first class. What the hell are you talking about, old man? Mice fixed it. He's a spirit blacksmith. Don't mind me, I'm just enjoying the view. <laughs> A little better angle. <laughs> yeah, karma, somewhere in there, yeah. Oh. Let's see here. See if this does anything for us. <laughs> you get a little scan lines in there? What kind of scan lines are those? Those are normal horizontal. It looks like an aperture. Vertical. Both. Okay. There you go. That looks more like it would have, right? Wow, that like does a lot with the color. That's weird. Look at that. Is that an optical illusion? New 5X update. What did they add? I only really use that for PS2. Look at that. That's just a subtraction method on the scan line and it like oversaturates it. That's so weird. That's so weird. Like this is what it's supposed to look like, this color. This makes it too saturated. Like, look at that, look at the difference. Wild. <laughs> They're doing a full breakdown and release. Now the original looks too dull. I don't think so. Like, I think it looks good here. That's so weird. I honestly think it's an optical illusion with the scan lines, something of that to that effect. We could, or we could do the OBS version here. There you go. Now we're playing on an old CRT. <laughs> How about that? Does that work? <laughs> yeah, like the bloom on the phosphors and everything. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. We're back in the 90s. I know. Like, I go to all these lengths to make it look pixel perfect, and now it's like, oh, this is what it looked like. <laughs> it's kind of what it looked like. It's an approximation. Do, 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 do. She could use some meat. Yeah, everyone in this game, except for that guy right there, is super, super skinny. Guys and gals. So people from all walks in this game are just mega skinny. It's like, okay, that's just the aesthetic in this game. Oh, really? <laughs> Let me introduce myself. I'm Great Grapple, the chief of Langood. Mm -mm. You took care of my daughter. Thanks. My daughter. What do you want? Money, women, just name it. Warmack? Uh, we're dating. We're dating Sedina. So. Let's not be thirsty for once. Volcanic Island. I want to go there. Okay, okay. You want to go to the Volcanic Island? You guys are very brave. Super brave. Oh, you're doing War Mac and Final Fantasy 1. Okay. For some reason, I thought you were talking about Warframe again. I'll take you there. <laughs> He's gonna take us there. It's time to get going. Everyone get ready. Oh. 
You had a coworker tell you you're low key thick. <laughs> Call me Wina. Okay. Which ship are we taking? I don't see any ships that are preparing to depart. Did you say ship? Yeah. This is your first time in Langout, right? Get a load of this. It'll knock your socks off. Hello, Moggy. Do you want your treats now? Is that what you want? All right. After this cutscene, little friend. Starting the elemental reactor. Priestesses, please get ready. You told co workers? Uh oh. Uh oh. I think Mog actually wants food, but. Oh, you know that word, huh? You're smarter than you let on. Bye, Loki. Oh shit, this is FMVs? I think this is the first one we've seen. Apparently this town is, is a ship. This is a massive ship, yeah. Let's get out of here. It's literally a city ship. That's that was pretty impressive FMV. It's a lot better than I expected. Boil the water, melts the fish. These pirates are quite wealthy if they could have a, a ship like that. <laughs> that was neat. Hey, little guy. Oh, big stretch. Yeah. Yeah. Big kitty stretch. Look at this guy. Who is this guy? Who is this Mog? What does Moggy want? Do you want treats, little man? No? Yeah? You didn't you only got one and then you ran off because you dropped it. You want some more? Would you like some more, little bunny? What do you think? Hmm? You got a nice coat, Moggy. You got a real nice little leopard coat there. Got that tabby coat. And that little gremlin face. <laughs> a little gremlin face. Oh, are you going to look at the camera now? All right. He's going to get bored quick. So we'll switch to this. Would you like the rest of your treats? You want these? Yeah. There you go. Okay. You get two more. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And your last one.
It is RPG Mel, yeah. Yeah, my cat seemed to like it so much. I might as well be like, yo, Meow Mix, let's go. <laughs> what do you got for us? Let's work together. <laughs> uh, there he goes. He got his treats and then he just fucks off, you know? It's what cats do. He's like, all right, I don't need you anymore. No, okay, Mog. Okay, kitty. You wish you weren't so allergic to them. I kind of allergic to them, I think. A little bit. A wee bitch. Do, do, do. Just a wee bitch. If they take a look around while they're preparing for the banquet. Okay. So you're back in time for the food. Okay. Oh, wine is coming with us? All right. No, 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 no. I want to talk to this other lady. There we go. Is she on our team now? She's not. Okay. You're allergic to cats and stop you. Do you take things like uh, loratadine or cetirizine or anything like that for the, the allergies? We need more stickers in Discord. Oh. A screen 1080p screenshot of Mog. Zyrtec? I think that's Satirazine, yeah. Yeah, Zyrtec's pretty good. That's like my like if I have like a bad allergy to something, which is usually like related to like spring shit. So like pollen, like if pollen's crazy, Zyrtec will handle it. One time I was stupid and I took Zyrtec and Claritin, or, well, Cetirazine and Loratadine. I got like four Charlie horses. That shit dries you out so much. It was a mistake. <laughs> uh, like mad dehydration. It was a bad idea. Like literally four Charlie horses. It woke me up. Like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Dried out cramp thing. Yeah. Yep. Spring shit. I mean, it's basically what it is, right? You need Claude going, ha! <laughs> uh, freaking Claude. Zyrtec can help with some cat allergies. Yeah. Not like the dangerous ones, but the ones that make you feel like you're all stuffed up, you know? Like you get runny nose and everything. I wonder why the music's different in this room. This has got to be her room, to be honest. She says, let's go, but I don't know where she wants us to go. Dun, dun, dun. I used to take Benadryl every night, both for allergies and to help me sleep. And I had one of my doctors, they were like, you shouldn't do that. That's bad for you. It's like, okay, but I need it for allergies. Yeah. They're like, yeah, you shouldn't be taking it every day. So I started doing research and it kind of like compound and the like drowsy elements of it and other things can like accumulate and stay with you. If you do do that, like take it every day. So I just cold Turkey stopped taking it. Cause I used to get like crazy dermatitis, like painfully itchy legs and arms. Like, like not like they were on fire, but like I was being con like stabbed, you know, like just tons of millions of little needles. That's what it felt like. So I was taking Benadryl every day and I just stopped cold Turkey. I haven't had that ever since. Diphenhydramine. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't take it anymore. I rarely need allergy meds. The last time I took it was when I eat, ate some mango. It was cut a little too close to the rind. Did you know that the rind of a mango is toxic? 
for me, if I if I have some of the rind of a mango, I'll break out into crazy hives. Mango itself, absolutely delicious. The rind, super toxic. What is this? Oh, this is one of those picture things. Okay. I'm not trying to talk to Wina. I'm trying to talk to this guy. Photo stickers with that print club machine. Wait your turn. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. You don't need the rind, right? But the like the fruit that's really close to the rind is effectively the the issue. Mango skin is the same stuff as poison ivy. Yes, yes. That's why I get crazy hypes from it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh huh. So if you cut a mango, don't cut too close. Okay. Yeah, that is, Blue Sammy is allergic to anals. If you didn't know, he's allergic to anals. You know, it's pretty specific, but yeah. Yep. So the anals get them every time. This is where I go. Okay, I was a little lost. Throat gets a little swollen. It's not severe, but it's uncomfortable. I know it hits Sammy pretty hard. There's a bunch of guys even nastier than me that are causing problems. Mean guys. We'll talk later. Let's eat. Let's eat. I like the sound of that. I <laughs> have a taste for blood. He's allergic to anals and he has a taste for blood. Interesting combination. Du -du -du. We never see Sammy in the daytime. That's true. That's a fact. You eat mangoes all the time. So you probably are pretty good at cutting them and not cutting close to the rind. Uh. Oh no, I'm sorry, General Bolt. Please forgive me. General Bolt. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Everybody makes mistakes, mistakes. Uh. <laughs> Wow, that got messed up. <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, it might be a discreet error. I don't know. I haven't had any issues with this, so. General Bolt is so chivalrous and sagacious. Sagacious. Got it. Is he? Is he sagacious? That's pretty cool though, Glacius. I think you're the first person to watch me from there that I know of. I don't really have a way of collecting metrics that deep. Like I do have viewer distribution by country, but if the percentage or the amount is low, like super low, it probably doesn't show up. So it's always neat to if like, I, you know what I should do? I should get like a like a poster board that just has a world map on it and like put like a pin every time somebody from a certain country watches the channel. I think that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know where I would put it though, but it would be kind of swell to get as many as I could. Sagacious having or showing keen mental discernment and good judgment. Shrewd. Ah, huh. 
Interesting. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my. <laughs> what? What did you say? I don't understand what you said. Are you making fun of me? Uh-oh. I don't like difficult words! Um. Well, this is fine. What happened? I don't remember anything. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> How about Barrick? He's hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He blew a gasket, yeah. He really did. And killed seven people. What an interesting banquet hall. It's not as posh as I thought. It's kind of seedy, but hey. Look at these beautiful babes, and there's so many of them. I like this town already. Oh boy, mice. What about Sedina? Mice, you're not a one woman kind of guy, are you? Don't ever call you a thesaurus. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm sorry, Nurkon. I did not mean to ignore that message. If you're still here, this is, uh, let me show you what we're playing here. Oh, hopefully they're still there, but if not, I can show everyone else. This is a game called Thousand Arms on the PS1. It is very awkward. It's a JRPG dating sim. Legitimately, like, you have to go on dates with women to gain their affection, and their affection fuels the power of you forging swords. That's really what the game is about. <laughs> it's really weird. It's got really good art direction. The music's pretty good. Um, uh, the, um, what else? What else? Um, good art direction, good music. Um, it's really funny for the wrong reasons. The gameplay's not great, though, but it's a good experience. Yeah, nothing to do with Wild Arms. I thought so, too, as early as, like, a year ago. But apparently, it's just completely different. Shulip? A kissing game? That sounds horrible. <laughs> The camera does make you want to throw up. Yeah. Ancestors used to be pirates. People used to pee in their pants when they saw them coming. Okay. It's super strange and somehow fun. They collected beautiful women from all over the world. Oh, I see. Time when that sort of thing was okay to do. We don't do that stuff anymore. Okay, but we still have the guts to sink those that get in our way with our big cannon. R, Like father, like daughter. Now I see like why Wyna is the way she is. Did you say why not? Yeah. She, uh, this would probably, oh God, both of these are gonna piss off Sedina. I think A is, <sighs> A is the only answer. Can you get me to play it? I don't know what it is. <laughs> is it, am I allowed to play it on Twitch? Is it cheap? 
Is it going to be a good experience for the stream? You have to ask those questions every time you want me to play something. It'd be nice if she was a little more feminine. Oh my God, Mice. Just accept people for who they are. She showed her feminine side. No boy out there would leave her alone. Don't you agree? That's a good defense mechanism. The reason why she broke my sword is because I made her challenge me. I was just trying to show her that she's still a woman and she can't defeat all men. Instead, she ended up busting my sword. I don't know if she'll ever find a husband. Who cares? Sounds like she's taking care of herself. <laughs> I did, this is the first dating sim I've ever played. I don't like dating sims. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I suddenly should start playing more of them. It's spendy. Yeah. Okay. That probably eliminates it pretty safely then. <sighs> dun, dun, dun. Dun. Tulip. What a strange name. Wow. Yeah, that is really expensive. <sighs> Jesus. That's kind of ridiculous. It's $200 bare minimum. Can I play Tulip? Nope. Not a chance in hell. <laughs> uh, <sighs> All the ones I saw were two to three hundred dollars. Mog, what are you doing? Mog's chasing. There's someone who will be her guardian angel. I'm worried about your little girl. Oh my God. She's like the strongest warrior in your town. Uh, I will. <laughs> he fell asleep. He fell asleep. I must really love his daughter. I guess. Yeah. Dun, 5 a.m. Zoomy. Yep, for sure. Is he dying? Yeah, that sounds like severe sleep apnea. Poor guy. Probably gets the worst rest. Oh, there's Wina. My old man is so old fashioned. He still thinks a girl's dream is to get married and have kids. Ha! You gotta be kidding. What's wrong with a girl living her own life? I want to follow my own path. The king definitely has sleep apnea, right? He does, yeah. ba 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 Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. I am very shocked how expensive this game is. <laughs> I guess it's not surprising. The ones I've never heard of are rare, so, right? <laughs> Let's take some print club pictures. Okay. Get him the magical CPAP. <laughs> Oh no. Dun, dun, dun. Due to it being so strange, it really is rare. I imagine a game like that didn't sell very well. 
Let's cut them apart and share them. Do you have a pair of scissors? I can cut them with my sword. The volcanic island! We're almost there! Dead ahead! Fortunately, I have a big backlog. You beat this ages ago? Okay, we're at the Volcanic Island. Probably didn't. It's from the same people who put out Harvest Moon games in the North in North America and Metro Metropolis Mania. Metropolis Mania? I don't know what that is. You're a big fan of Natsume. Ah, Natsume. Okay. They definitely have always been more of like a niche company, right? They put out those weird games, like the or, or more obscure titles, or more. They're, I'd say they're more experimental than a lot of other companies, which is good and bad, because it either results in things that are really fresh and cool, or things that are just like, what the fuck were they thinking? <laughs> uh, it's a, definitely a double-edged sword. Natsume. I wonder what games that they've released that I really liked. I know I liked Harvest Moon, original Harvest Moon on Super Nintendo. I was a big fan. That was them, right? Well, I guess... Was that them? Or no? Hmm. Maybe not. They did Lufia. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, so they were a publisher. Okay. They only published Lufia 1. Oh, they published Lufia 2. Okay. What did they develop then? What did they actually develop is what I want to know. Lufia 2? Did they develop Lufia 2 or publish it? Harvest Moon is listed there. Harvest Moon 64. Lufia was Taito. Oh, okay. That sounds kind of interesting. Miss RPG Girl. They held back Taito to make 2. Oh, okay. I never played Harvest Moon 64, but I wanted to. Is Mog chasing you, Lickety? Is that what's going on? Is he bothering you? You don't want to be bothered? Oh, they did Legend of the River King. I always wanted to play that. Oh, I always wanted to play Legend of the River King. You folks know what that is? Legend of the River King is a fishing RPG. That game always looks super cool. Kitty, stop snooping. Cut it out. No, no. Stop snooping. Wyden wants to go with us. Is she? Oh, yeah, she's she's on our team now. Okay. Wow, she's even stronger than Musa. <laughs> Kitty, you're stealing the camera. Beep beep. They worked on Luffy at three. Is that that Game Boy Color one? I've never played Luffy at three or four. I always did want to try them, though. Zapara just rated his own movie. Solid story. Yeah, seven. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. 
Oh, Wino can do uh, foraging now. Interesting. So we have two ladies to take on dates. Brand of uses Harvest Moon complete in box. Whoa. Like Super Nintendo? That's rare because those cardboard cases just ain't doing it. Wait, what if we have her forge her own weapon? Oh, you can change its attribute this way now. Well, that's kind of fascinating. She can learn fire and sleep. Let's do it. Boing! Fire and sleep. Okay. She's reading chat. She's actually looking at it, yeah. She, Game of Color is Luffy Legend Returns, which is Luffy 3. Yeah, I would like to try those. There's just a lot of those games that are... Like, let's be real. There's a ton of games like that that I want to try, but they're prohibitively expensive to try, you know? Because they're like 30 40 50 $60. And at the end of the day, they might not be that great or even more than just a single stream kind of game. Like I'd love to have that kind of just expendable income to do all the time, but it's not reasonable. The Game Boy game is not very fun. Yeah, that's what I've heard too. I've heard it's not great. I still want to try it. I just don't want a $50 try it, you know? It's good enough to recommend. 